everyone, Robert here with Mod Science, Facebook Mod Science, ModScience.net. Again, ModScience.net. Check out the website, regularly updated with all kinds of neat stuff, including links to this channel and also information about uh, liquid cooling and uh, high end PC hardware. So, today is an exciting day. Today, I bring you the unboxing video of EK's FC Radeon Vega. GPU monoblock. Okay, so this is pretty exciting stuff. Uh, they sold out pretty quick when they first announced it. Um, I do know that the website, uh, the site is uh, currently in stock. Uh, I believe it retails for about $129.99 um, in American dollars. Um, and I say American dollars because they are based out of Slovenia, and sometimes if you go to their site, it's listed in euros, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I got it today, and um, today I will be doing the unboxing of the nickel plexiglass version of it. Uh, there are a number of different versions of this model, but um, uh, I wanted the, uh, the, to go all out and get the nice uh, nickel version of it here too. So they have a black uh, acetal version of it as well. Uh, I, in addition to that, I'm also going to show you as bonus footage uh, the unboxing of EK's FC Radeon Vega backplate. This is the nickel version of the backplate. Uh, nothing really too special about that. It's just a big metal block um, which goes on the back of the card. Uh, it's pretty lengthy, both of these boxes. So I would say the card itself is maybe about 10 and a half inches, maybe 11. Um, so both of which are very lengthy there. So we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. But the uh, box arrives in uh, EK's traditional packaging, which is always very nice. Uh, on the back of it, technical data, high performance water block for computer cooling. Uh, industry ch standard G, G quarter port threads, low flow restriction and pressure drop mounting mechanism included, made of high, made of high quality materials, etc., etc., etc. And the, it does come with a 24 month warranty. So yeah, let's get right into this here and get this thing open for you guys. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just make some incisions with uh, a razor blade just to make sure we get a nice clean unboxing okay let's get that it slides out like that traditional EK orange box and then okay so we have some thermal padding I don't know what the thickness of it is but this stuff goes over the uh, uh, the VRMs and also the RAM on the on the GPU itself, uh, which will be covered in the instructions there. And then of course we have a uh, EK's instruction manuals. Manuals are pretty good. Uh, this one is pretty in depth. Kind of shows you the layout of uh, the GPU, uh, the card itself. Then of course the input output of it, and then of course the instructions which we will follow religiously to make sure that everything is installed correctly okay uh, inside of this little package here it comes with the EK's ectotherm which is pretty good thermal compound uh, there's two allen wrenches I forget what the dimensions are on these but uh, I think the technical term is a bigger one and a smaller one uh, there are also two plugs looks like two silver plugs that come with it uh, along with other washers and screws which are used to secure the uh, secure the, the, the monoblock to the GPU itself there. So always very useful. I think um, EK also usually does have uh, more uh, parts install or provided than they normally, uh, than, than usually is required to allow for you losing some of these tiny washers, which is easy, easy to do, right? So very considerate of them. Also, this monoblock does allow you to mount it as one single block or one single, uh, a single mount bracket inside of the uh, inside of your build, which is pretty convenient because the, the card is actually a pretty thick card. Um, I can get you footage of it here in just a second, but uh, this will allow you to essentially take a double, a, double, a double mount video card GPU and then turn it into a nice clean single slot uh, install in your build. So that's the bracket that's included, very nice. And then let's go ahead and get the GPU, oh buddy, and here it is. This is the first GPU block I've ever purchased, um, which is pretty cool. Um, very, very clean looking. Uh, measures about 10 and a half inches, maybe 11 inches 
And then we've got kind of the inlet and the outlet ports here. Okay. Uh, this appears to be, yeah, this is the back of the, of the GPU block, which will actually uh, mount to the uh, actual GPU chipset there. You'll also be able to see through the bracket. Again, this is a plexiglass um, block with a nickel coated um, heat sink. And uh, there are also other versions that come in acetal, black acetal, where you don't even see any see through anything. But uh, I wanted the high end stuff, so therefore I bought it. Okay. And then also, what's nice here is that it also comes with um, EK's Radeon. I don't think this stuff lights up, unfortunately, but it does kind of show off the Radeon logo and, of course, the traditional EK. Uh, I do think, if I remember correctly, there was a place for you to mount two little LED diodes or um, yeah, little LED diodes right here to light them up, and I think I will do that because I have a, uh, I have, actually, I don't know if it's there or not. I think it's somewhere else, uh, but I, I think that may be where you can mount the two little diodes. But anyway, um, yeah, so again, I've never really used a GPU block, so this will be a learning experience for all, but uh, they've got the Radeon logo, and then there is EK's little logo, which you can peel off of there. And I believe, I'm not sure which portion of this, this technically is facing down and, uh, and yeah, this is it, the, the GPU plugs into your card that way. So this is what you would see facing you. Although in my build, I have a Thermaltake P3. It's actually going to be installed like this and you guys are going to see all the fluid flowing through this. I'm going to have some uh, of, uh, I actually bought some of Mayhem's pastel coolant. I'll be using Mayhem's Pastel Coolant Lime Green, I think it is, or UV Green, uh, in the build, in my Wrath build. I have pictures, I'll have um, like kind of a build log of this specific uh, monoblock, uh, GPU block uploaded to my site and also my YouTube channel. So if you haven't done so, subscribe for more because there'll be plenty of updates. There's going to be uh, the unboxing video of this guy, the disassembly video of the Vega 64, uh, the uh, Gigabyte Vega 64 um, Black Edition that I bought. I'm also going to have a build log of putting the two units together and then also a build log of me installing it and then uh, doing the tubing and all that bending for it. So it'll be pretty cool uh, once everything is included there. So um, yeah, this is all nickel plated copper. And then here is the kind of um, the, the part that makes contact with the GPU. Um, this part will, will uh, these parts will cover the RAM modules and also the voltage rate mon monitors. And then um, yeah, uh, very clean. It'll actually mount thermal padding to um, certain sides of this, and then you'll fit your you'll you'll have your uh, your fittings plug into and out of. I think I'm not sure. There's I, I think you can actually do either way as part of the flow. I think with the mono blocks for the CPU, you kind of have to adhere to whatever EK's requirements are. But on these, I think you can choose an inlet or outlet just depending on whatever you want to make it. So. Um, yeah, and then, you know, you can actually dismantle this entire block, so sometimes this stuff will get clogged inside of here. You can use an Allen wrench to unscrew these screws. This black thing right there is an O-ring, a pretty complicated one. You can remove everything and clean out this entire thing, so that's always been one of the cooler aspects of, of EK's blocks in that they're very modular, okay? Uh, again, $130 online, um, which, um, you know, again, kind of seems silly and kind of seems like overkill. Uh, but when you're playing around in the high-end market, it doesn't freaking matter. Um, you're going to put down the kind of money for all the nice shiny toys that you want to, which is precisely what I've done here. Um, yeah, so then it's got, um, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap the damn thing. Probably should do that because I'm sure you guys want to see that. Um, okay, I'm going to try and avoid having making much contact with it. Okay, oof, look at that thing. It's pretty. Okay. Uh, nice luster to it itself there. I'll get you some close ups. And again, you mount the GPU to that portion right there. And then, yeah, it's got a nice solid weightiness to it. And then there's uh, some more of the shiny goodness that comes with it. And then the little Radeon logo there. And that's the Radeon. Let's 
This is the EK FC Radeon Vega GPU block which will be installed onto Gigabyte's Vega 64 GPU here in just a bit. I also have a Frontier Edition GPU, uh, which I thought about installing onto this thing, but I decided against it. I'm just gonna go and keep the uh, Vega 64 in my 1700X build on a Crosshair 6 um, motherboard in the Thermal, T uh, Thermal Tech PC case uh, with a uh, mono block for the CPU, RAM block, UK's Monarch, and then of course this will be installed. So it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, lots of fluid running through everything, lots of tubing. Um, so again, subscribe for more. Make sure you check it out. But uh, that's pretty much it. Very straightforward product. Um, really, it's going to be uh, the next video that I have, which will show you the installation of this thing, uh, will be a little bit more in depth. But for those of you who just like to get and close up and up close and personal. Uh, view of the product before you get your hands on it and I hope that I've delivered in spades okay so again this is the EKFC Radeon Vega water block made uh, made possible by EK this is financed out of my own pocket uh, $130 online on EK's website I know some other websites like performance PCs will probably have this thing up for sale and then as promised, I'm also gonna get you some unboxing video of footage of the... Okay, so this is the Radeon Vega backplate. So that goes to that G uh, GPU block that we just looked at, the EKFC Vega, Radeon Vega. Uh, backplate material is anodized or uh, galvanized aluminum. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and all it usually just contains is the backplate and instructions. I'll get you that here in just a second. And I want to kind of be careful with this and avoid getting smudges all over it, but bam, look how pretty that shit is, man. High-end PC hardware for enthusiasts only. For guys with too much time and money on their hands. Look at that thing. Just perfect. Okay. This thing is about 44 bucks online. Unfortunately, in the build that I'll be putting in, you're not going to really be able to see it. So that's why I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to use it on the, as a backplate on my Frontier Edition. Uh, I'm not sure just yet what I'm wanting to do, but uh, definitely pretty awesome. All right, well, listen, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for checking out the video. Um, I'll go ahead and have uh, some additional footage of the... Uh, GPU block being installed into again a Vega 64 so be sure to subscribe to this channel for more I do appreciate any and all the love that you guys can give me um, and uh, also be sure to check out the website I'm regularly updated with information about your favorite high-end PC hardware especially tied to AMD and also for liquid cooling products made available by EK and all the other big boys so again, go ahead and subscribe it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, who gives a shit? Um, but anyway, check out the website again. And remember everyone, stay cool, liquid cool. Thanks. <laughs>